Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to the division webinar for ICT coordinators titled Capacitating ICT Coordinators on Online Distance Learning. And today we'll be talking about Microsoft Sway and how you can use it for your online distance learning modality. I am Hazel Angeline E. Tesoro, Teacher 3 at Barra Senior High School, Microsoft Education Ambassador, Microsoft Innovative Educator Master Trainer, Microsoft Office Specialist for PowerPoint, and Google Certified Educator. Apart from that, I'm also one of the core members of the Division of Results Open Educational Resources OER team. So without further ado, let me have you over to other details about me. I'm teaching creative writing, Malikaing Pagsulat, English for Academic and Professional Purposes or AAP, Oral Communication in Context, Entrepreneurship, 21st Century Literature, and Reading and Writing Skills. I'm also working towards my PhD in Applied Linguistics at the Philippine Normal University. And a fun fact about me, I hoard e-books though i know that i won't ever ever have the time to read them so now let's get over to our topic so we'll be talking about sway how to create and share interactive reports presentations personal stories and more so this slide deck is officially from the microsoft educator community philippines by our trainers and those are members of the core team so now let me um, allow me to play a video for you about Microsoft Sway. This is our most popular exhibit. Come a little bit closer so you can see this amazing creature called Swishy. You have ideas and projects that are interesting, meaningful, powerful. Now there's a new app that helps you easily pull together, format, and showcase them, while still giving you freedom to adjust the design and reflect your own unique style. Introducing Sway, the completely new way to express yourself. Search a wide variety of sources without leaving the app. And simply drag and drop your content directly into Sway. Sway gives you the power to assemble and present your ideas. All just a tap or click away. It lets you create a polished, living, breathing canvas of your ideas on the web, using a variety of multimedia that you bring together with ease. Select a layout and style for your content, or let Sway do it automatically by showing suggested combinations for you to consider and change at any time. Seamlessly integrated with the web, social networks, and your devices, your creation can be shared as effortlessly as sending a link. It will look great on any screen. Sway lets you easily pull together, format, and share your ideas on any device from anywhere. It's an all-in-one elegant solution that's unlike anything you've used before. Reimagine the way your ideas come to life. So in that video, you saw how amazing Microsoft Sway is. And as we progress through this presentation, you'll see what else can you do with the use of Microsoft Sway. So you can be able to create reports, presentations, personal stories, and newsletters, and a whole lot more if you're going to use Microsoft Sway. So this is like an advanced um, version of PowerPoint, only that it's only available online. So you can create and share this, all these kinds of stuff. You can create and share something new, like an immersive and interactive web-based presentation. You can also explore with new types of layout options and a variety of layout designs you can choose from. And What's good is that layouts adapt and look great on devices across all of your devices, whether that's on a laptop, on a smartphone, or on a tablet. You can share your presentations via email and social networks. You can also add your content easily by including a variety of multimedia types, name it. You can also integrate it with your cloud storage in your devices and social networks and on the web. Later, I'll also be showing you examples of Sway presentations created by my students. So 
What's nice also is that it has drag and drop that makes it easy for you to add your content to the Sway presentation itself. And it has a built-in Bing image search and suggested searches. So you don't have to open anymore a browser and then look for content and then copy and paste them to Sway. It also has an effortless design. It assists you through its adaptive design and layout and that's run by AI of course. It's always done meaning everything you put in it feels like it's good to go and it's ready to be presented. It's natural intent based feedback or tuning and you can just in one click and you can just transform the content. Want to create a visually striking presentation without having to spend a lot of time on it? Then say hello to Sway, a digital storytelling app from Microsoft Office that lets you easily create digital presentations, newsletters, and blogs in minutes. First, let's start with what you want to put in. Text, photos, videos, all of the above. No worries, Sway makes it simple, even if you have them all saved in different places. Are you more analytical than creative? Or you just don't have time to spend hours and hours on formatting? Sway's built-in design engine quickly puts all of your content into a nice cohesive layout that looks finished and ready to show off. Everyone happy with the style? Sway lets you switch between multiple layouts, designs, and color palettes in seconds. Wondering how teammates can add more content to your Sway? and if their email limits can handle all of your photos and videos. With Sway, it's as easy as this. Now you won't have to worry about uploading and downloading file attachments. And teammates can simply open the link and start adding more content in. With Sway, everyone will have the latest version at hand. Now, it's presentation time. Is your audience in a boardroom, a cafe, or on the go, Sway dynamically adapts, so it looks great on every screen. No more worrying that viewers will have to squint at their phones while looking at your content. Finally, an app that is so easy and intuitive, teams will actually enjoy using it. Want to see it for yourself? Head over to Sway.com and let us do the rest. So how do we get started with Sway? You can just use your internet browser and head over to www.sway.com and click sign in. And if you don't have yet a Microsoft account, you can just create one. But um, most of us already have our Microsoft 365 account, so it won't be hard for you to create a Sway anymore. So sign in using your Office 365 or Microsoft account credentials. And step number two, you can just click on create new to make your own Sway. So that's how easy you can start off with creating your Sway. Number three, you can give your Sway a name, of course, to have it identified among the other Sways that you will be creating. Add the title and image and click on the small cross to add a new content area. Think of these areas as pages on a PowerPoint file. There are similarities between Sway and PowerPoint, but like what I told you earlier, Sway is like an advanced version of PowerPoint. It's only available online. So you can also add some content to your Sway. When you click on the plus sign, you will be given the option to add a heading, text, media, and upload, and you can choose the appropriate content for your presentation. There's a tip right here. You can arrange your section. You have the option to change the layout of your sway. Simply drag to move around the parts within your section. So sections are also present in PowerPoint, but it's nice to have it also here in sway. And you can just drag and drop them so that you can arrange the parts according to sections. Step number five is when you add media, you have a choice of a number of sources and there are a variety of media content that you can choose from you can bring media across from a number of sources all this media applicable for use under creative commons and when we say creative commons we have the permission to use them and include the source as we use the content so we can use picture video tweet 
or embed like it's it's from a certain website and you'll embed the content to your sway you can also create a chart for this one step number six you can use the design tab this is an area where you can choose your themes and fonts for your sway so this is where the designing goes about so there's a pro tip here you can just click remix you can just click that to let sway and the ai decide the look or the overall feel of your presentation step number seven you can just publish it and choose share and get the link for your sway you can then share this with anyone in any way you would usually share options for embedding or sharing through social media are also in this area and you can also share this link to someone for creative authoring so that you can both collaborate with a sway presentation so you can add up to 10 persons to collaborate in a sway document these days people read on computers tablets and phones sway lets you make great looking content that adapts to all these different devices and shapes you do that by telling sway what matters to you and then letting sway take care of the rest we call this doing things the sway way the Sway storyline is where you do most of your work. You type text, add images, videos, and other stuff here. You can rearrange the structure of your story using cards that represent each piece of content. On the right, Sway is building up a preview as you go of what your finished Sway will look like. The storyline is all about the structure of your Sway. Notice how everything is plain and unformatted? In Storyline, you get to focus on what you want to say and in what order, without being distracted by what it looks like. Here, you tell Sway what matters to you or your intent. For example, if some text is important to you, use the emphasis button to tell Sway to make it stand out. You can emphasize whole blocks of text or individual words. All these decisions give Sway hints on styling. As you can see, even though the emphasis is shown as bold in the storyline, Sway takes these decisions and applies different styles while honoring our original intent. Here, I'm using accent to give text a subtly different feel. In this case, Sway uses italics. You can use different levels of emphasis on pictures, videos, or anything in Sway. The level of emphasis on a picture is represented by the number of stars it has in the storyline. You can also give Sway these hints directly on the preview. Just click or tap on an image and change the emphasis level using this toolbar. To keep several items together, select them using the boxes in the corners of the cards and group them. Then choose how you want to interact with that group to give your Sway some spice. One click changes the interaction. Making your newsletter or report look great is easy because you start out with consistent quality design and you can always change it using these controls or simply use the remix button to explore options. Just keep clicking until you see something you like. Here's some examples that show how Sway uses the hints you gave it about what's important to adjust the look and feel. With traditional tools, you do a lot of manual formatting and rework to get things right. It's a lot like using paper, scissors, and glue. Making changes is hard, and it gets harder the more you have to say. It's easy to end up with a half-formatted, inconsistent mess. Which gray are you? And just trying to make something that works on a big screen as well as a phone? You know what I mean. Sway ensures your design changes are applied consistently throughout your work, and its automatic formatting and layout ensures your output looks great on any device. You focus on what you want to say, and then Sway takes care of the rest. Check out the other videos in this series, but hopefully these videos will inspire you to try out Sway and share your own story. So there are 10 ways to use Sway, and this tip is from Pip Cleaves, or Oz Teacher's blog. We have presentations, e-textbooks, picture books, experiment and research projects, artwork and multimedia portfolio, dictionary, book and film reviews, professional learning resource, flip learning content delivery, and school showcases. So I was able to use Sway for my students for the first time when I had them write their own short stories. So that's part of their creative writing subject, but the content is Tagalog. So I, I taught them malikain pagsulat and allowed them to be creative, add content to their stories. I also asked them to publish because that is the competency required in that subject for them to 
publish their short story online. And I chose Sway as one of the publishing mediums that they could use. Apart from Adobe Spark, Blogger, Tumblr, and Blogspot. Chances are, you learned something on the internet recently. Or tried to. Wait, what? I wanted to show you how I took an egg and flour to make pasta in 20 minutes. What does this have to do with Sway? Well, it turns out it's a great platform for teaching or explaining something. Sway allowed me to insert pictures and video clips at key moments in the process where a visual really helped. I used a series of video clips I shot and edited on my phone. Then I uploaded them to YouTube. From there, I inserted them into Sway. You can also upload videos directly to OneDrive and insert them that way. Right here you can see they're all in a grid, so they need to be structured a bit. I've created headings with numbers to help guide the viewer through the process. Okay. Adding images to headers really helps define the sections visually. I added short text descriptions to help support the videos. A lot of websites are vertical, but I like the look of this horizontal layout. And I can make that change here in navigation. And as you move through Sway, you can play, pause, practice, and move on. That's really how we learn on the web now. And Sway makes that super simple. Whatever you want to explain or teach, Sway can help you structure it in a way that makes sense. Check out the other videos in this series. Hopefully, these videos will inspire you to try out Sway and share your own story. And for today's training output, you will be required to transform an existing lesson from the subjects that you handle will allow you to use the content that's already existing on, on your devices and which you have taught already to your students. Use the, the text, the images, or the videos that you have already and transform that. Get creative and create a suede presentation out of it. So we'll be giving you 15 minutes to work on your sway and just submit that to a link that I will drop later. So now we're here at the sway website. So that's sway.office.com and you can just head over to that site from your internet browser. So you'll see that we're now at the home page and there are a lot of buttons that you can click to explore the sway website. You can create new, start from a topic, so that would allow you to choose from a list of topics already available. Start from a document, so I'll be also teaching you about that. Did you know you can turn Word docs into visual stories with Sway? Just start your new Sway from a document, choose a file, and transform your typing into something a little more wow-worthy. You can start from a template, so you can choose from the ready-made templates that we have here already. You can even create a resume out of this for those who are teaching reading and writing skills. You can ask students to create a vacation story, a portfolio, a blog, an announcement, and many more. So you can also get inspired by existing lessons that we have here. We have habitats, the certification, adapt and survive, mostly about science, solutions to the world's biggest problems, my future self, more like um, for the philosophy subject, shortcuts in Word, that's for ICT tutorials, fractals, databases and all, and many others. So we also have an SDG lesson here. So, we can just create new, create a new Sway. So, if you'll click that, Sway will automatically create a blank Sway for you. And it would be up to you now what will be the design of that Sway. So, so it just takes a while and that depends on the internet connection that you have. And that would prompt us to sign in again using our account. So, this is also the time that... You can perfectly see how we can sign in to our accounts by using the Microsoft credentials that we have.
So I'll be using my Region 4A account for this. So there you go. And so now we use our login credentials. And we're waiting for the Sway to load. Ayan. So this is already our Sway dashboard. You can just create new. And Microsoft will automatically create a blank Sway for you that you have to customize and tweak based on your preferences. Yeah, so we have now a blank storyline and we can choose the design that we want. You can see that there are also guide texts that appear along the way because I haven't visited Sway for a while. So, ayan, so we can just um, click styles ayan, and choose from the designs that we want here. I want a colorful one, maybe this one. Ayan, so, a floral design. So, there. You can just title your sway. The life of a plantita. Because plants are in right now. So I chose that subject. Ayan. So you can see that there's another guide text here. You can add text, images, videos, and more by clicking the plus sign. So I'm going to click that. And you can see that we can choose from a heading, a text, an image, or a stack. You can also upload from your device. So we can emphasize. So this is like boldface. You can add an accent. So this is like italic. And you can also insert a link. So you can just add here and add text, add media. You can add an image, video, audio, embed, and upload. You can group images um, automatically um, on a grid layout, on a comparison or a stack, or on a slideshow layout. So you can try it out on your own. And we can click design. Ayan, so ito na siya. So the life of a plantita. So this is like, this is where you do all the stuff. Like you're going to put in the text. You can um, have the images and the videos at this part in the storyline section while if you just click design you will see now the final render of your sway so you can add a background you can upload from your device or from OneDrive you can add images as well let's add plants I'm constantly checking the time if we can hit the time limit for this because we're only allowed to have one hour, including the talk and the creation of your output. So, again, I'm going to choose a snake plant here plus the pitcher plant. I think this is the pitcher plant plus a sunflower maybe. And all the plants that I don't know, but I think we have this in our garden. So I'm going to click that. You can also choose whether to use Creative Commons only so as to avoid having copyright claims to your work. Yeah, and I'm going to close that part. So you can see now that we have four images here. We can click on design to see how it looks like in the final Sway presentation. So there they are. So here, you can see that they are um, displayed separately. But if we're going to have them stacked as images, we can just drag them here, drag the other one there, ayan, and create a group stack. So you can see that they are now inside uh, a single rectangle that's color gray. That means that they are within the same stack. So we're going to preview that again. And you see now that they are stacked together. 
So I'm gonna separate one so that it's not included in the stack and click design again and you see now that they are separate. So go back to the storyline. So this is like the backstage where all the magic happens and the design is the final view of how your sway will look when presented. So, balik sa storyline and we can even try out other layouts, maybe. So, we can use comparison. So, maybe we can compare, parang hindi naman fair na i-compare yung sunflower sa picture plant, but let's do it. Or maybe this one, ah, no, maybe yung snake plant and the spider plant. So, okay, I'm gonna close that. So, you saw right there the section that I just closed that um, Sway automatically suggested content for us and layouts for us. So, I'm going to drag here yung snake plant and yung spider plant. So, ito na yung sections, okay? I can just um, delete the section and just undo if that was a mistake. And now I'm going to drag the spider plant here so that there's a comparison. And delete this one because it doesn't have content anyway. There. So we can now compare. So here is the comparison. Now we, we compare the spider plant to the snake plant. So the students or the Sway user can just Use the slider here to compare the snake plant to the spider plant. So that's how compare works. So back to the storyline, we can try the slideshow effect. So we can um, put here the images that I added earlier so that you'll see how it works. And we can just delete this section because it doesn't have content anyway delete that and go back here and add them all to that section and again delete this um, comparison so we can click design and see how it works so it's not stack but this is um, slideshow so you can just click the arrows to slide from one photo to another. That's how slide show works. We can also use focus points. Focus points are important because you can um, choose the part of the image where you want um, emphasis. So I'm going to set here whether the entire image is important. You can just check that. Or if not, you can just set the emphasis or the focus point so you can just click on the parts of it that's important or reset now i'm going to emphasize this part okay so that's the focus point that i want so it says here sway picks the best layout depending on your device and style so that's the focus point i set for the sunflower for the snake plant i'm also going to set the focus point and for that, I'm going to click just here, near the pot, or somewhere here. There you go. So that's the role of a focus point. You can also add captions here. You can add bullets, numbers, and a link. You can also insert from here and add videos and other content that you might want to add. And there. That's the life of a plantita, and there you go. So because of time constraints, I am not able to create a full version of um, presentation for you. But you can do that on your own by maximizing the time that you have. You have 15 minutes to do that. And while you're doing that, I will also show you the Sway presentations that my students were able to accomplish back in 2019 when they were... Um, taking up the subject creative writing. Malikaing pagsulat. So, the stories are written in Tagalog and I asked them to publish 
via Sway. There. So this is a play. Ayan. So you can just view and scroll or swipe using the buttons below. By the way, you can also choose um, how your your content will be presented like from left to right or from top to bottom or you can um, present it in any way you want. So you can view more and scroll or swipe by using the buttons below. You can navigate to different sections. You can click previews and click next. So I'm gonna click next. There and you now see the content. So most of my students only used one image because they're not used yet to the website but i'm sure that if i had given them more time to work on this they'd be able to explore about it more and what's nice is that they can always get back to their sway and edit them and add more content if they want to so you can just click share if you want to publish your sway get a visual link embed code you can share it on facebook twitter and your linkedin profiles you can copy here the link and you can set whether anyone could be able to edit your sway and that's for the collaboration purposes and you can just set it by just read only access or view only access and that would be for a teacher-student relationship. Like students can um, give the teacher view access only and not edit access. So you can also set the autoplay settings and that varies from user to user because you can set now the time or how fast it would play. You can have it loop continuously. You can change the layout by yourself. If you want to view it from top to bottom or from left to right. Yeah, and so another layout that we have is from left to right. You can also choose the other one. So it's like that uses both directions like from top to bottom and left to right so you can also explore the ways that you have already done because i have a copy of this way you can duplicate this way and save one for yourself so that's like make a copy in google you can create new you can um, save it as template you can print it you can export it um, you can click accessibility view so that's one sample. This is another one. So this is still from left to right. And the student um, used one photo as well. So you can also add an image to serve as the background for your sway. So that's the background of the title card. So this is from top to bottom again. And I know that you can do better than this um, student created presentations because you're already familiar with some of the features that Microsoft has. And Microsoft offers for us. And so there you go. So now it's time for you to create your own sway, transform an existing lesson from the subjects that you handle will allow you to use the content that's already existing on, on your devices and which you have taught already to your students. Use the, the text, the images, or the videos that you have already and transform that, get creative, and create a sway presentation out of it. So we'll be giving you 15 minutes to work on your sway and just submit that to a link that I will drop.
10 minutes starts now.
So, for that, we'll be having also your achievement code and you can just redeem this code and earn your certificate and of course your points in the microsoft educator community just click the redeem code and type in t-htc88 c620 again that's t-htc88 c620 and with that thank you so much and i hope that you learned something from our session for today